victory, baby. We did this one together. Uh, that was a workmanlike um, type of win with a little bit of wackiness at the beginning and records being broken. Uh, shut out Kings are back and Travis Darno can't stop hitting homers. That's how Braves are winning baseball games right now, and it's so much fun to watch. That one game losing streak was terrible. But Bryce Elder, respect your elders, back with the back with the boys, fries the fish again. Got some big time help from the fish in the first inning because they were in attack mode. They went single, single, double, and somehow we got an out out on that. I don't know if Luisa Rise wanted to reenact the little big league uh, scenario in the first in the first scene of that movie, but that's the first thing I thought of because I think he got deked by Ronald Acuna Jr. that he was gonna go and catch it, so he had to go back to the bag and tag, but he was nowhere close to it. Michael played it well off the wall, and all the runners got screwy, and somehow we got an out out of it, and then back to back flyouts later, somehow we gave up three hits and no runs, and then just pretty much cruise. Although Ryan Weathers was really good through the first three, but then the walk bug and the GPS got a little wonky for him, and we took advantage. A walk by Marcelo Zuna, a um, two-run blast by Travis Barry Bonds Darno. This time he kissed it off the pole with the Carlton fist lean. But Travis Darno's harder than dancing bobcat on the surface of the sun. I don't make the rules. He's a distant cousin of Barry Bonds. He just is. Maybe the guys should go touch their bats to his to get the good juju. I don't know. You might as well try it. Um, but he is absolutely scorching the ball all over the place. And that one was on a changeup. So he stayed on it very, very nicely. 2 nothing, And then a walk by Doovy. And then a... Uh, productive ground out by Michael Harris for the second, and then David Fletcher uh, put the bat on the ball uh, down the line single to give us that extra tack on run there. Three nothing, first hit, first RBI for David in a Braves uniform, and then Bryce Elder created a lot of rug burn, a million ground outs, two clutch double plays, and he was absolutely phenomenal. In the fourth inning, he had to work around two two-out singles, but he got Nick Gordon to ground out to end that mess. And then in the sixth, uh, Jazz Chisholm infield single after a beautiful barehanded play by Orlando was negated by the challenge because it's the Braves. We all know that. And then Josh Bell hit by pitch, and then he was able to get Jesus Sanchez to ground into the 3-6. One double play, really nice shot by Elder getting over there. And then uh, the infield defense has been picking and grinning. And I'm sure if Ron Washington sees this tape, he will grin himself. Austin Riley is really gunning for that gold. Two fabulous plays tonight. Orlando Arcia doing Orlando things. And then Guillerme was amazing last night as well. It's just flowing in the right way for the defense right now. And then uh, Elder did give up a two-out knock to um, Rivera, but Pierce Johnson came in and struck out Fortes on a nasty curveball fall off the table. And then Minter, one, two, three, easy breezy with a strikeout of Luisa Rise in the eighth. Mr. Never strike out or impossible to strike out. Minter just sliced and diced him. And he became the Atlanta Brave record holder in holds with 108. Absolutely incredible. Minter has been minty, minty fresh. And Iggy, one, two, three, easy breezy. Just absolutely incredible. You see this. It's too late. As always, go Braves. Champions forever. Such a fun win. Really happy for Bryce Elder. And really happy to get back on track after a little bit of an annoying one. Uh, last night against the Texas Rangers, but as always, go Braves champions forever.